Yeah. Annette, we talked earlier. Do you often look at what, you, what Reggie's wearing? Exactly. Well, we talked before the show. <laughs> yeah. We actually did. Yeah, you'll look on his Instagram and think, what's Reggie wearing? That's <laughs> exactly, my... Has exactly. he always been an... I who who copies him? Oh, I follow him, of course. We all follow him, in a way. <laughs> That's the truth of it. Uh, now, thank you both for being here. You know each other well. You've made... I think you've made two movies together, right? Right. Yeah. Annette, did you hit it off right away <laughs> with young Elle? Uh, I did. We made a movie called Ginger and Rosa. Yes. How old were you when we I made I was the... 13. Right. Yes. And I immediately um, had an affinity for her, watching her, <laughs> observing her work, also what kind of a person she is. She's yeah. amazing. <laughs> and I very quickly took her grandmother aside, who was with her, and started telling her grandmother <laughs> <laughs> that I thought that Elle should be free to go to school and not work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Why? I remember this. Do you remember I that? do. I do. I remember. I, I just felt we protective of her, like I in a parking lot. But then, uh, I mean, I, I also like I kind of took your advice. I was working, but I went. I got to go to a regular school. You did. Yeah. I, I remember. I got to go to Same. a regular school. Same. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's rare. So, like people yeah. are homeschooled a lot, but yeah. No, now, you, when you were 13, <laughs> when you made Ginger and Rosa, which I think was, am I right in thinking if that was your first ever on screen kiss? Yes. Oh, was it your first was. on screen kiss or first kiss total? Well, um, it was my first kiss total. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to, um, Sally, who was the director, Sally Potter, um, gosh, she had such a like, spidey sense, but I thought I was really fooling her to be like, you know, oh, yeah, uh, I've, I've kissed <laughs> many, many men, you know? Like, and uh, and I, I definitely, I obviously wasn't fooling her because years later, she was like, just so you know, like, I know it was your first kiss, and, and because of that, I used the very first take, and that is in the movie. Wow. So my wow. first kiss is on screen for eternity. <laughs> I can watch my first kiss happen. Wow. Yeah, which is kind of, it's, you know, sweet, a bit embarrassing, but sweet. <laughs> now, Annette, tomorrow is a very big day. Yeah. In your household, you and Warren Biddy, your husband, you, you're celebrating your 28th wedding anniversary. <laughs> An incredible achievement. It is. Now, be honest, which of you is more likely to forget the big day? Well, <laughs> I will admit that there was one year, many years ago, where both of us forgot, and it got to be about four days afterwards, and I went, oh! <laughs> and then I thought, he has also forgotten. Yes. Uh, so now we remember. That only happened once. And what are the plans? How do we celebrate tomorrow we night? We have dinner. Nice. We have dinner uh, at a discreet yet delicious restaurant. Okay. Uh, maybe Santa Monica. Oh. I'm not going to reveal the location. If I guess in the commercial break, will you tell me? I will invite you. <laughs> It'll be just the, the three, three of us. us. I... <laughs> Can I be honest? That would absolutely <laughs> make my day. <laughs> I won't speak. <laughs> I'll just sit and look at you both. <laughs> that wouldn't be weird, would it? No, Warren's no. Warren's no, here no. and I'm here and I just go... <laughs> <sighs> Although you might want someone around, because am I right in thinking all four of your kids have recently moved out? They have. Of your house. So how yes. does that feel in the house right now? It's quiet. It's a bit bittersweet. I miss walking into the house and having noise and chaos. But then the good part is there isn't noise and, and chaos. chaos. Yeah. <laughs> but I do miss it. I, it's, it's a mixed feeling. Yeah. But I'm proud of them. I'm glad they're out doing their thing you know, doing their lives. My kids are eight, five, and two, and it's I already dread them leaving. No, it's true. I'd quite like just to freeze them in time and for them to never grow up. Yes. Like, I'm so enjoying them being in the house. But is there anything you're more like, oh, we can do this now? We can... We can sit by the pool and drink martinis. Oh. <laughs> See, that does appeal to me. And with a two-year-old round a pool, that would be bad parenting. <laughs> Elle, you've kind of done the opposite. You and your sister, you've both now, you've moved back in with your mum. Yeah, we have. Well, I guess I technically really never moved out. Like, <laughs> no, I never you did moved for a out. while, didn't you? Yeah, well, I was, your place? I was, I didn't really have, I was just working a lot. So mm. I've been, you know, um, you know, like six months at a time, like, yeah, in an apartment that was all my own. Right. But when I come home, I'm kind of back under mom's roof. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, my mom, my sister and my grandmother. Because my sister is kind of in between. She 
got a house here in L.A., but it's not quite ready. And she'd lived in New York for seven years. And so now we're, we're all back together, which my mom is very, very happy about. I think she oh, loves she would, it. Oh, she, yeah. does she not like the idea of you guys actually moving out? No, I think that kind of... She, she worries a lot. Mm -hmm. So she likes that we're there and safe and... You know, our rooms are all very much intact. And, mm. like, I was saying, like, I'm going to be the, uh, you know, have a husband and, like, and go to my, you know, mom's house and our, my room's going to be, you know, pristine, like the same, <laughs> all the dolls, like, with their beady eyes, like, staring at us, like, it's like this rom-com thing. He, <laughs> he's going to love that. Yeah. <laughs> he, he will absolutely see it as a rom-com <laughs> and not a horror movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>